Hi all, welcome to my channel My Art Journal. Today we will be making a crochet candle holder. The material that I have used is listed down here. To make this project, I am using green and yellow yarn. You can choose your choice colors. So let's begin. First, make a magic ring. Now, make two chains. Chain 1 and chain 2. Now let's make the half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook through the magic ring, pull up a loop. You will have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops at once. This is a half double crochet. Let's repeat it again. Yarn over, insert the hook through the magic ring, pull up a loop. You will have three loops on the crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. This is second half double crochet. Similarly, we will make third half double crochet. This is fourth half double crochet. Sixth half double crochet in the same ring, seventh, eight, this is ninth, and tenth half double crochet. So there should be 10 half double crochets in the same magic ring. Pull the tail tight to close the magic ring. Now let's make a slip stitch through the first half double crochet. So this is round 1. Now let's begin round 2 by making two chains now let's make first half double crochet through the first stitch in the first stitch make one half double crochet in the next stitch make one half double crochet Again in the same stitch, we will be making one more half double crochet. This is called an increase. That means we will be making two half double crochets in the same stitch. Similarly, in the next stitch, we will again make two half double crochets through the same stitch. This is half double crochet one. And this is second half double crochet in the same stitch. So two HTC in the same stitch. Repeat the pattern and make two half double crochets through all the stitches. So by the end of round two, you should have 20 half double crochets. Now make a slip stitch to complete round 2. Make 2 chains to begin round 3. In the first stitch make 1 half double crochet. In the next stitch let's make an increase by making two half double crochets in the same stitch. So this is one half double crochet. In the same stitch make one more half double crochet. So this 
also two half double crochets in the same stitch now in the next stitch make single stitch that is only one half double crochet and in the next stitch let's make an increase by making two half double crochets in the same stitch so in round three we will be making an increase in the alternate stitches that is make one half double crochet in one stitch and in the next stitch make two half double crochets repeat the pattern and by the end of round 3 you should have 30 half double crochets make a slip stitch and complete the round 3 make two chains to begin round four now in the first stitch let's make one half double crochet in the second stitch make one half double crochet and in the third stitch let's make an increase Let's make two half double crochets in the third stitch. So two half double crochets in the same stitch. Similarly, make one half double crochet in the fourth stitch. Make one half double crochet in the fifth stitch and in the sixth stitch we will be making an increase that is we will be making two half double crochets in the sixth stitch so we are making an increase after every two stitches now repeat the pattern till the end of the round so one half double crochet in the first stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochets in the third stitch repeat till the end and by the end of the round four you should have 40 half double crochets make a slip stitch to end the round four For the fifth round, we will begin by making two chains. Now we will be making half double crochet in every stitch but only through the front loops. So half double crochet only through the front loop. You will have two loops front and back. We will be making the stitches only through the front loop. Here we are making one half double crochet in every stitch but only through the front loops so this is the front loop and we are making the stitch only through this front loop leave the back loop as it is As we are making one half double crochet in every stitch, we will have the same number of stitches as we had in round 4. So by the end of round 5, we will be having 40 half double crochets. So these stitches are made only in the front loops and behind we can see the back loops. Similarly, Follow the pattern and complete this round. 
so we should have 40 half double crochets in total by the end of the round. Now finish it off with a slip stitch. Here we are done with green yarn, so let's pull up a loop and snip off the yarn. Secure it well with 2 to 3 knots and hide the tail under the stitches. Now let's attach a yellow yarn to it. Now we are going to work in the back loops of the previous round. So as we can see the back loops, we will be working in these loops for our next round. So in the back loop, let's attach the yellow yarn. Let's make a single crochet first. Make two chains. Skip one stitch. Make a single crochet only through the back loop. To make a single crochet, insert the hook in the stitch, pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your crochet hook. Pull through both the loops. This is a single crochet. So make two chains, skip one stitch and in the next stitch let's make a single crochet. Insert the hook through the back loop only, pull up a loop. You will have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Again make two chains, skip one stitch and make a single crochet in the next stitch. Similarly, follow this pattern till the end of the round. So one single crochet and two chains, skip one stitch beneath, again make one single crochet in the next stitch. In this round, we are creating small blocks which will be used as a base row for our pattern in the next round. By the end of the round we should have 20 blocks in all. Now finish it off with a slip stitch. Let's begin round 7 by making 1 chain and now in the first block let's make 1 single crochet. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, 2 loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is single crochet. In the next block we will make 1 half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, 3 loops on the hook, pull through all the 3 loops. This is half double crochet. So 1 half double crochet. Now second half double crochet in the same space. So 2 half double crochets. Now we will make a double crochet. To make a double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. You will have 3 loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through first 2 loops only. Yarn over again and pull through next 2 loops. This is a double crochet. So we will make one more double crochet in the same space. So 2 double crochets now. 
Now let's make one treble crochet. To make a treble crochet, yarn over twice. Insert the hook, pull up a loop. You will have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through only first two loops. Yarn over again and pull through next two loops. Yarn over third time and pull through remaining two loops. This is a treble crochet. Again, let's make one double crochet in the same space. Make one more double crochet in the same space. Now make one half double crochet in the same space. And make one more half double crochet in the same space. So we have two half double crochets, two double crochets, one treble crochet, two double crochets and two half double crochets. All stitches in the same space. Now in the next space let's make one single crochet. Let's repeat it again. In the next block make one half double crochet. Second half double crochet. One double crochet. Second double crochet. One treble crochet. double crochets again two half double crochets And in the next block, let's make one single crochet. So this is how the petals will be formed. Let's make it one more time. So two half double crochets, one and two, two double crochets, this is one and two. One treble crochet, two double crochets again, now two half double crochets. And in the next block, we will make one single crochet. Repeat the pattern till the end of the round. Let's finish it off with a slip stitch. So we should have 10 petals by the end of round 7. For round 8, let's begin by making 2 chains, turn your project and let's make 1 single crochet through the previously made single crochet. Here we are making our single crochets on the top of the single crochets that we made in round 6. 
because here we want to make layers so one single crochet make three chains again make one single crochet as shown in the video Now let's make 3 chains 1 2 and 3 again make one single crochet Similarly repeat the pattern and complete this round So this round will act as the base row for our next layer of petals by the end of this round we will be having 20 small blocks again finish it off with a slip stitch for our next round we will be working in these small blocks Let's make one chain. Turn your work. In the first block which is directly behind the petal, let's make one single crochet. So, one single crochet in the first block follows the pattern of the petal in the next block. So in this block which comes between the two petals we will be making our first petal First let's make one half double crochet Now let's make second half double crochet Let's make one double crochet. Now, second double crochet. Let's make one treble crochet. make another treble crochet now let's make one double crochet make one more double crochet make one half double crochet let's make one more half double crochet so all 10 stitches in the same block in the same space in the next block let's make one single crochet let's repeat it again so in the next block we will make two half double crochets now make two double crochets one and two 
make two treble crochets so one treble crochet and second treble crochet now make two double crochets one and two now let's make two half double crochets one and two and in the next block let's make one single crochet one single crochet so our second layer of petals will fall between the two petals of the first layer let's make it one more time so in the next block make two half double crochets one and two two double crochets one and two two treble crochets so one and two now two double crochets one and two make two half double crochets one half double crochet and second half double crochet make one single crochet in the next block repeat the pattern till the end of the round finish it off with a slip stitch Let's begin round 10 by making two chains. Chain 1 and chain 2. Now turn your work and make a single crochet. Again, we are making the single crochets on top of the single crochets that we made in round 6. In this round, let's make four chains. And again, make a single crochet as shown in the video. Again make 4 chains 1 2 3 and 4 and make one single crochet Similarly follow the pattern here we are making 4 chains between every two single crochets Now this round will act as a base row for the third layer of petals So by the end of round 10 we will again have 20 blocks to work further. Finish it off with a slip stitch. Let's begin round 11 by making one chain and turn your work. Here the first block falls between the two petals. So we will make our petal of the third layer in this block. So to begin with, we will make one half double crochet. second half double crochet 
वन डबल क्रोशे सेकेंड डबल क्रोशे वन ट्रेबल क्रोशे सेकेंड ट्रेबल क्रोशे थर्ड ट्रेबल क्रोशे वन डबल क्रोशे सेकेंड डबल क्रोशे वन हाफ डबल क्रोशे एंड सेकेंड हाफ डबल क्रोशे and in the next block we will make one single crochet so in this petal we have made all 11 stitches in the same block let's repeat it one more time two half double crochets double crochets this is one and two three treble crochets this is one two three two double crochets one and two two half double crochets one and two and make one single crochet in the next block Let's make it one more time. So in the next block, make two half double crochets. One and two. Make two double crochets. This is one and two. Make three treble crochets. One. Two and three. Two double crochets. One and two. Two half double crochets. so we'll have 11 stitches in the same block in the next block let's make one single crochet similarly let's repeat the pattern till the end of the round finish it off with the slip stitch make an additional slip stitch pull up a loop and snip off the yarn secure it well with 2 to 3 knots and hide the tail under the stitches
I hope you like this video tutorial of a 3D flower crochet candle holder. If you have any questions, kindly comment and let me know. Here I have made 3 layers of the petals. If you want you can add more layers to it by following the pattern and increasing the number of stitches in each round. Here I am placing the wax candles only for the display. If you light the wax candles, your project may catch on fire, so please be aware. Instead, using the battery operated LED candles would be a more safer approach. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.